Okay, so here's what you do to get TrueCrypt encryption for your own computer. Go to TrueCrypt.org, T-R-U-E-C-R-Y-P-T.org, and you go to the Downloads tab. Now, whether you have Windows or Mac, just download the appropriate one. It's super easy. Just click of a button, and you can get it. Once you get it installed on your computer, go to the Documentation tab. And this has a lot of cool stuff that you can do, but if you just want to have the basic function of encrypting your, your files, which is uh, just fine, that's extremely good, uh, just go to the beginner's tutorial. And it is really easy to follow. It shows you everything you need to do. And I'm actually going to show you exactly what you need to do to encrypt your own files right now. Now, assuming you've downloaded TrueCrypt and you see the TrueCrypt icon on your computer somewhere, uh, open it up and it's going to bring you to this window right here. Now, the first thing you need to do is create a volume. And a volume is basically like your folder, your folder that is going to be encrypted that uh, everything inside needs to have your password. Now we're going to be following the defaults for pretty much this entire process. There's some really cool things that you can do that are more complicated, but if all you need is to encrypt your files, no bells and whistles, we're going to go with the defaults. So this first one is already ready to go. We're good to go. Volume type, uh, standard TrueCrypt volume, that's going to be just fine. Now volume location, you can save it wherever you want. You can save it in your uh, my documents folder uh, on your desktop or some other obscure little file folder somewhere I'm gonna save it as a desktop and you can choose whatever you want to call it I'm gonna call it um, you know my spy stuff or something and then once you're ready to go you click next again encryption options a default will be just fine volume size now you're gonna wanna think ahead about how much space you're gonna need in this file. Uh, for some people, if you just have one or two files, uh, one or two documents you want to hold in there, you probably don't need much space. Um, for me, I use, uh, I encrypt my client files, and my client database is growing uh, constantly, so I actually have quite a bit of space and more space that I'm using now so that I can always grow my space. Um, of course, if I need more space, I can always open another encrypted volume, but I'm just going to put one megabyte right now. Super easy password. Now the best and safest passwords are more than 12 characters long. They're a combination of upper and lowercase letters, uh, numbers and symbols. So I'm going to choose a password that's a lot like that. And I'll display it just so you can see what I'm, what I'm uh, going to be entering. Now if you notice this password, it's a, it's a sentence. That's another way to uh, easily remember a longer password is to make it a sentence and I've used a combination of upper and lowercase letters here I've switched out the word two for the number two instead of the letter s I've used uh, the dollar sign s instead of an o I used a zero so that's one way that you can uh, interchange some letters for some numbers make your password a little bit more complex and a little bit more break a uh, little bit more difficult to break into Let's see if I can uh, remember it. Yep, it should be exactly the same. So I click Next. Now, when you get to this volume format, what it's doing is it's taking the mouse position inside of this window and using that to create, uh, to find a random number to encrypt your data. Uh, and so the more often you move it within this window, the better your encryption is going to be because the more random the numbers are, are going to be. Um, so move it around for a little while. They recommend 30 seconds or so. Once you're done, you click Format, and this window pops up. The TrueCrypt volume has been success successfully created. Now it actually created it over here, so I'll show you what it looks like. Now that's what it looks like on my computer. It's probably going to look like just a blank file on your computer, but what it really is, it's that encrypted volume or an encrypted folder. So you can go ahead and make more, but uh, we're just going to exit for now. Okay, so now you've made this folder, what do you do with it? Well, you've first got to open it up so you can save documents to it. So you select the file, which is selecting this file that you've just created, 
and we've called it my spy stuff. So you get ready to open that and you want to mount it. You're going to do this every time you open up TrueCrypt um, down the road after you've created it. And here's where you enter your password. If you can remember it, uh, I hope I can. I like to eat soup. Uh, and it looks okay. I mean, you don't have to display your password. I'm just doing it now because I don't use this one very much. And let's hope it lets me in. And it does. So what it does is now it's popped this up your my spy stuff and you're able to open it so if you double click on it that folder will open or that encrypted volume now there's nothing in it right now uh, because we haven't thrown any files in it it's a brand new folder um, now I created this file a little bit earlier called my super secret uh, super secret file and you know I've got some information in there my bank account number and uh, a little bit of a negotiation strategy so what I'm going to do is, just like any other regular folder, you can drag and drop or move files in there, no problem. And it basically encrypts on the fly, so um, whatever you move in is now going to be encrypted. So I can take this old copy, which is right now the same, and I'm going to move it to the trash. Of course, I'm going to have to empty the trash and do some other things to clean that um, file up from the hard drive memory. But once I do that, this file is completely encrypted and no one's going to know what's on it. But let's say that I want to change this file. Um, let's say, you know what, I really want that 1988 Honda Accord, so I'm willing to go up to $900, but I don't want you to tell the seller that. So I change it and I save it, and now that change, it's only behind this encrypted volume in this encrypted folder. No one's going to be able to see that without getting through this encryption. And so you can change and move whatever folders and files you want on here, um, just like a regular folder. Now when you're ready to close down, you go ahead and you dismount it. Uh, once you dismount it, you're going to have to enter your password again to get into that file. Uh, at this point, I could get into it again without having to enter the password, but I'm going to dismount and now I can't get into this folder without the password. If you look at it, it's just a bunch of gobbledygook. Now, a word of caution, if an expert hacker gets access to your computer at this point before you shut it down for the day, um, they're probably going to be able to get in and, and still get into your encrypted volume to get past your encryption. Once you shut your computer down and turn it back on, not even an expert hacker is going to easily be able to break in to your encrypted volume. They're going to have a very, very difficult time. So just remember that anytime you open up your encrypted volume uh, and close it down, it's really not secure until you've shut down for the day. Um, but that's it. It's really that simple.